goodness gracious. Mm, goodness gracious. The Chiefs. The Chiefs. That's all I can say is the Chiefs. I remember like a month ago, I was going, the Royals. Mm, the Royals. Champions. Well, guess what? The Chiefs are like, they must have gotten jealous. They must have said, you know what, this is really, you know, we started 1-5, and five, and this is embarrassing. These Royals won the World Series. we got to change this. I mean, good for the Royals, they're saying. Don't get me wrong, they love this. But, but now they don't want to be in the footsteps of the Royals, so they're like, we got to win now. And boy, are they winning. Their defense, their special teams, and their offense. You know how the with the Royals, with the Royals, they're saying, and this is a team. This isn't one man show. This isn't a one man show team. This is a team effort. Guess what? This Chiefs team, same thing. You cannot you cannot point to one guy and say, this guy, he's the reason why they're winning. There's no way you can say that. The Chiefs special teams, their defense, and their offense, all, all of them together are making this team win. Because I'm still not a fan of. I mean, I like Alex Smith. Don't get me wrong, because he is a. He's very safe. He doesn't like to risk things. It's safe to say that, right? <laughs> because the Chiefs' defense, like they'll either some, they they turn they get the ball turned over at the right time, give him good field position. You give Alex Smith 15 to 25 yards. He can either get you in field goal range because they're already in field goal range, or he'll get a touchdown sometimes. And they've been doing that. Dustin Colquitt punts the ball inside the 10-yard line. I don't know how many times this year. And then the other team, our defense, will hold that team to within the 20-yard line. They don't get a first down. They punt the ball. Now we got the ball at about 45-yard line to the 45-yard line on either side of the field. We got good field position. I'm telling you, this team is a complete team. And... Our, our backups are filling in for our guys that are hurt. I mean, this is this team could finish 11 and five. And I'm not saying I called this. I'm not saying I called this back at uh, I think it was preseason. I called. I think I called this. Well, I called it in preseason, but I couldn't call it officially until a week one review because that's when I did the first video or the re, the the draft review or something. But I said the Chiefs should finish 10 and 6 or 11 and 5, and everyone said that's kind of crazy. But I'm thinking, you know, they're going to start really bad. I did say they're going to start probably 1 and 4 or 1 and 5 because their schedule looks rough. I mean, come on, you play the Packers, you play the Broncos, and the Bengals all back to back to back basically. I mean, that's like hard. So, and I didn't know if they'd beat the 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 Texans. And they did, good for me. But you know, anyway, they still started the season one and five. Now, now they have a chance to finish the season. They should win out. The next four teams are playing are all under 500. All of them under 500, and some of them well below 500. <laughs> so if we lose, but here's the thing. Here's catch 22. Do you want, do you want a team to go to the playoffs on a 10 game winning streak? Because that would be a 10-game winning streak, I think. Six, four, yeah, thank you. I can add. 10-game winning streak. And then you got to win four more in a row to win the Super Bowl. Do you want a team to do that? Or or do you want a team to lose one, kind of re, regenerate, re, I don't know what the word I'm thinking of, but just kind of soak up the feeling of what it feels to lose again, to say, I don't like that, to win again, keep winning again. Do we want that? Or do we just want to, you know, hey, we want to win them all. I don't know. I have mixed feelings on that because going on a 10-win streak straight to the playoffs, that's, that's scary. Especially, I could see the Chiefs beating, I, I mean, call me crazy, but right now at this moment, they can beat the Broncos, I think. They can beat the Bengals. I think that they're due to beat the Bengals. I think they can beat the Colts, the Texans. I think they can beat them. I even think they can beat the Patriots. Our defense can definitely get under Brady's skin, a.k.a. last year, week four, Monday Night Football. 
I think the Chiefs can go to the Super Bowl the way they're playing right now. And the teams that the AFC is very competitive. The only problem I see well, two teams, kind of three. Oh, oh boy, fucking kind of three. Cam Newton's team, the Panthers. See, now that's a team where you say, is this a complete team? Is this a team effort? Because Cam Newton, when you think of the Panthers, two people I say, when, I, when you say Carolina Panthers, tell me two people you think of. I heard Cam Newton. Who's the other one? Luke Keekley. I mean, that's all you can think of. Luke Keekley. Oh, and is it Greg Norman, the cornerback? So three guys. They do have standout players. And they're awesome, and they are dominant. Don't get me wrong. I love the Panthers. I am loving what the Panthers are doing. But they're not like the Chiefs, like, team effort. So, I don't know. Then, you got Seattle. Freaking Seattle. I'm so sick of Seattle. But guess what? Their offense is all of a sudden clicking. What the heck happened? How are they clicking all of a sudden? Their defense is starting to click. Oh, crap. This sucks. I'm so sick of seeing Seattle always making a run. Arizona, I think, is going to choke. I like Arizona, but I, I just feel like they're going to choke. I don't see it in them. I don't know why. I just I don't. I just don't see it. I, I love Carson Palmer. What Carson Palmer's done, I don't see it. Anyway, I just feel like I, I think the Chiefs can go. I, I'm going on. i got to go on something else. It's been six minutes. I haven't talked about our league yet. Oh, my gosh. So, let's go to the league. First, the pickums. Bad influence. you got 42 points. You can run, but you can't hide. Gilkison, you've lost your lead big time. You lost your lead hardcore because you're in second place now by one. And I am in third place at 40, two points behind now I'm with Mike. And there's only three weeks left. All right, now let's go to the how this year finished. This year finished really, really weird. Okay, obviously, I'm the number one seed. Let's go to the number two. There were so many ways that this could have finished. Bad influence you win, Devils lose, vice versa. Well, guess what? The Devils won. Devils, number two seed. I think. Am I right or am I wrong? Am I right or am I wrong? The Devils did beat the Dragons by three points. But I'm pretty sure you're not the... Are you the two or the three? You're the three seed, Jim. Sorry. Gonna say you're the two seed. Not the two seed is by Gilkison. Wow, Gilkison wins, gets the ninth win of his season, and has more points than the Devils. Congratulations, Mr. Gilkison. You are the division winner there and the number two seed with a bye. That's right. But here's how the crazy things happen. Okay, silver and black. One year. You're you're too busy. You're what? What the heck, man? Are you, your work is that crazy? You can't set a lineup. Gronkowski is out. That's a duh. So you can't put in. Not that you would have won, but you can't put in Kobe Fleener. I mean, you still would have lost. But come on. I mean, let let me look at this. You would have got killed anyway. I mean, yeah, you still would have lost anyway. Fester won. Efren, you lost. You go on the toilet bowl. Fester, you are now the number six seed. You squeaked in, Fester. How did you do that? You squeaked in. The number three seed, like I said, is Devils. Now, Clinton Dix Lewinsky, were you even a factor of this playoffs for I don't even think you had I don't know if I ever felt you had a chance. Yeah, because two weeks ago you were only at five wins and you just been winning. You won again. You got Three wins in a row, and now you are at seven and seven with the number what five seed, I think. Yep, because number four seed was bad influence, who's just kind of tailed off. He could be a back. Don't get me wrong. He's on his. He's on a five-game losing streak. Started the season. He was at. So that means he was at seven and two before this last game. Seven and two, looking dominant. And now you're going to finish the year seven and seven. Seven and two to now seven and seven. Man. And you led the league in points. You know how bad you led the league in points? You are the only one to score 2,000 plus points. Nobody in this league has scored that but you this week or this year. The closest one. Who's the closest one? 
I think the closest one will be maybe maybe me no I think actually Mark I think Mark is the closest one next to you yeah yeah you're the only one that's going to eclipse well no I, I'm looking at I'm sorry I am looking at points before they add up for the rest of the week <clears throat> so I think Mark might have eclipsed 2000 because he got 180 something 181 plus yeah, yeah, you definitely eclipsed 2,000. Definitely, definitely did. Yeah, but still, that influence tanked the season. But he could be on the rise. Yeah, you know the stock market goes like this. Well, he was up, then way down, and you never know. It could be going way up all of a sudden. Let's hope not, because I would like to win. You know, it's not like I want to say, hey, Mike, win for me. I'd love to see you win, because I'd like to take a loss for you. No, sorry. I want to win too. All right, so that's the seedings there. The toilet bowl, banana hot seed. You started out strong, didn't you? You did. You started out strong. You were seven and four at one point, looking like you were going to take the division. And Gilkison said, "No, thank you, sir. Take a seat." Travis, this has got to be the first year that either you haven't been in the playoffs. I think have you been in the playoffs every single year? It feels like. Because you always threaten to quit unless you don't make the playoffs. And you keep playing because you win the thing or you make it pretty far. Anyway, this might be the first year you haven't made the playoffs. And Craig, Craig, also, I think, is this the first year you haven't made the playoffs? In a long time. I mean, holy cow, a long time. We actually got some fresh blood in there. I mean, I have I don't know the last time I've seen doubles in our playoffs. Or Fester. Fester, he's kind of choked the last year or two. Mark, you're there every now and then. Bad influence, he's there every now and then. Gilkison, I don't know if you've been in the playoffs in this league. I think you were in my auction. In the auction league, I know you have, but this might be the first year Adam's been up there. So we got some fresh meat in our playoffs. Except me. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a long old man in the playoffs here, you know. Every year, every year. Don't want to jinx it. Just saying, every year. But I gotta play somebody, and I don't want to choke, even though my team is starting to slip. Um, also, here's a little tidbit for you, Big Red. I remember at the beginning of the year you were like, "Oh, my team's awesome. I'm gonna dominate," and you were dominating because you were like really good for the first what four weeks. Huh. Bad news for you, buddy. You're six and eight going to the toilet bowl. Yeah, don't wanna don't wanna jump the gun there, buddy. And hey, Sandusky Tickle Monster. You finished on a really good note in the league here. Ben Roethlisberger, 52 points. Marcus Mariota, 52 points. Who are you going to use? I mean, you know you left Mariota. You could have got .10 points better if you would have used Mariota. Come on. I mean, that's a good showing there. Yeldon, 27. Roethlisberger. You got a good lineup there. I mean, you're set for a good toilet bowl. I think you are set for a good toilet bowl. The problem is that your team won't all gel at the same time. And that's what sucks. Alright, well it's been a really good year. Welcome to the playoffs, toilet bowl and regular. Um, just to let you know, if you have a bye week this week, and you think you're going to go with, uh, pick somebody up, well guess what? You can pick somebody up, but you will have to play that person on the week you actually play. Just because you have a bye week doesn't give you a free pass. So be careful if you make a move. Um, is there anything else I needed to say? I don't think so. I think that marks it up. I talked about Chiefs, didn't I? Should I start over on that? No. Okay. Hang on. I'm just, just checking. Oh, the Royals got the Mexicutioner back. We got the Mexicutioner. Is that politically right to say? I mean, I think there were signs saying, you shouldn't say the Mexicutioner. That's very, what's that guy's name? The dictator, not the dictator, the drug lord. Anyway, Joaquin Soria is coming back. I think he could do some good work for us. I think that was a good move. He's only 31. At first, I thought he was old. I think he was like, I thought he was like 37. He's not. He's only 31. I think he could do some really good for us. Chris Young got him back, and the big sign, Rusty Coons. He's coming back. All right, go Chiefs, go Royals. I love it. Oh, and go my team too. I, I gotta take a break. I'm gonna take a a week off and just 
let my team rest, hopefully. <laughs> no, we don't want to rest. I disagree with that rule. You don't rest your players. you got to keep them ready and rolling for the week to come. So my team's going to rock it this week, and they're going to dominate for the whole thing. Have a good week, fellas.